Greetings in Chatelet, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of pocket knives uh, that I got recently. Uh, the last one that I did on here, I believe, was this uh, James the Folsom. I ordered a James the Chapter, and the company, Knife Center, just didn't want to sell it to me. They, uh, they actually did send it by UPS and then decided that I had to pick it up in a dangerous neighborhood, and I said, no, no. I can do that. So they're taking it back. Pretty incredible. Uh, here's one that's a little ProTech called um, ProTech Sprint, I believe. PR4. Uh, look at that blade on there. Can we read that? S35VN. Hard to believe. It's uh, black coated. It's a very shiny blue aluminum, I guess. It feels like aluminum. And uh, anyway, it's an auto. And uh, we got the typical plunge lock right here. Now the, the Boker here is about the same size as the um, a Kershaw. A little Kershaw I had, about the same size, a little auto knife. Really nice knife. And uh, the difference is the um, uh, Kershaw was uh, about half an ounce heavier and had a really strong spring on it. And uh, once uh, the blade was deployed here, very easy to just pop this right back in on the um, on the Kershaw. It was really really hard. Um, if I came open in somebody's pocket, it might cut through something. Uh, I like this better than the uh, Kershaw in another respect. Is uh, we have pretty much almost deep carry pocket clip here. It goes right up to the close to the edge of the handle. And uh, with the other one, the Kershaw, it did not. It uh, came down quite a bit. So it would stick out of your pocket a little bit. Other than that, I don't know, it's a shiny, uh, kind of a blue, whatever they call that. Um, and it feels like aluminum. I don't know if it's anything else. I think this thing cost me about 115, but then again, it's a, um, you know, it's a Protex, so they charge a little more for these things. So there's a Protex Sprint. And, uh, Oh, the other one there, something I didn't expect to buy, but I just happened to see it in a knife shop. It's a Boker, call it a Quiken. I think it says that on the box here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it right here on the box. See where it says Quiken on there, tactical, whatever. 229, well anyway, they only charged me like 100 and 115 for this. Had it on sale. The great thing about this, now the blade is uh, quite different. It's uh, I'm not sure what they call this thing here. It's almost like a uh, sword hand, uh, sword blade or something. Where uh, this is uh, the other one. Uh, the little knife was a um, kind of a drop point. And uh, on the uh, James knife, we have something almost like a uh, curved tanto here. Uh, anyway, I like the blade. I, I prefer kind of a straight or drop point, but uh, this is okay. But I like the general shape and style of the blade. And again, it's black. I think black goes really good here. This is a flipper. It has something unusual. Um, the um, now the James knife there is a uh, uh, liner lock, and you can see that liner in here with all the uh, I'm not sure what to call that jimping or something like that. It's a uh, it's, but uh, the point of it is, is that uh, it's hard to operate with one hand without breaking a fingernail. This, on the other hand, has this little, like a, I forget what they call it, chorl or something like that. A little scoop right here. And um, so to get the liner lock loose, you just push that down and then push the guy right back. And then here's the flipper. Flipper works great. And, uh, but what I really liked about this knife really made me run back and buy it. I wasn't intending to buy it. And uh, I'm not sure what this description or Burnley, whatever it is. But anyway, it's uh, it's heavy. Feels like about uh, five ounces. And it looks like about a three and a half inch blade. But this is all metal. It's some kind of heavy metal. I don't know if there's if that's aluminum on there. It looks like they've got uh, got those done as inlays. But uh, it is metal. And uh, it's heavy, and it's got a really good grip to it. And oh, I just love the design of this knife. Uh, the only downside would be 
Whereas here on the James knife, we have a pretty much full size clip. We have this little, little tiny clip on here on the uh, Boker. And uh, for such a big knife to have such a tiny clip, I mean, it goes down in the pocket far enough, I guess. It, uh, and it's heavy enough, so it's not going to just fall out. But uh, such a tiny clip. Mm. Every one of these things has its limitations. But anyway, uh, now with the James knife, we got this really deluxe uh, box with the uh, cutout in it. With the uh, Protac, we got a really cheapy piece of cardboard here that's nothing. And then with the uh, Boker, we got something kind of in between here. One of these uh, boxes that fold up like that, have a little bit of a magnet inside of them. So much better than the uh, cheapy uh, cardboard box. Oh, I can't say enough good about this. this. I'm just jazzed by this knife. This is really great. Uh, but anyway, that's 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 it. I don't know if there's anything else I can say about the uh, about the blade or whatever on this Boko knife here. It's a uh, yeah, there it is. VG10, way down here. Um, yeah, down there next to the to the handle. VG10. VG10 is good. I think the S35. VN is supposed to be a lot better, but on such a tiny knife, its blade's only one and one and two thirds inch. This looks like about a, at least a three and a half, three and three fourths inch blade. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why they have the hole down there. It's almost like you put it on a chain or something. It's pretty heavy for that. Um, very nice knife, Quiken. I really recommend that. I think they have a mini Quiken too. If it's built this well, if it's got this kind of a um, metal handle that's uh, so well, uh, I guess knurling or something on there, beautiful. But anyway, the uh, uh, let's see, uh, take a last look here at this uh, little Protec here. Uh, the spring here is pretty strong. This could jump right out of somebody's hand. Yeah, I don't think there is much of anything else to say about this. It's extremely simple. I really like the pocket clip. They have a better pocket clip on here. This little tiny knife than what they have on the... Uh... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Thank you very much.